I think so. This week, we hung the jellyfish. It was an amazing project. And as you can see, the ceilings in the museum are way up there. So first I had to throw a extension cord over our spreader bar and zip tie it so that it will reach to where the cable trays are, where we're gonna be able to plug it in. If I told you I wasn't scared, I would be lying. The machine that I'm on is not a scissor lift, as you can see. It's what's called a snorkel lift. It's not quite as stable as a scissor lift, because as you can see, it's only held up on one end. So while the machine is already unstable in the side-to-side -side direction, the same as a scissor lift would be, this machine also has an instability in the forward and back position, where the edge of the machine, as you can see, hangs out beyond the supports. Now this machine, like all machines, has a few quirks of its own. One of them is that sometimes when it goes up, it does what we call a little hula dance, instead of going up nice and smooth. Usually you just have to stop and start again until it gets itself squared away. Did I mention how high it is? Normally, zip tying an extension cord onto a bar like this would be no problem at all. But when you're this high up, everything just takes a little bit longer than it normally does. I always kind of think of it like the way the astronauts in space take a little bit longer than normal to swing a hammer or to turn a screw. These are the cable trays where all of our electrical circuits are run around the building. They're not as high as the spreader bar is way up there, but they're still high enough that it's useful to have this lift to get up and down, and it's still a little awkward to reach out over the end to plug things in. places that you're not supposed to be walking around on things you're not supposed to be walking around okay. on. Okay. We used to always say, if you weren't scared out of your mind, there'd be no point to do it. Right? Because right. it wouldn't be fun. Right. <laughs> Next day, it was finally time to hang this jellyfish from the hooks that I had set and plug it into that electrical cord.
Building this jellyfish was a project we started with the Boys and Girls Club of Hawaii. We had talked to them this summer about recycling. We did a five-week session together where we identified high five recyclable materials and sorted them and collected all of this unrecyclable plastic. We went for a walk on the beach and cleaned up the kind of trash that we found there. The jellyfish was the right animal to convey how much unrecyclable plastics affect us on this island. With a scissor lift or a snorkel lift like this, one thing you're never supposed to do is side load it. In this case, I've tied the jellyfish to the side and I'm lifting it with the snorkel, which you're not supposed to do. But we also have a yellow rope tied to the top, which is taking the weight of the jellyfish. The jellyfish is secured to the spreader bar by a very large webbing strap that has two industrial hooks on it. It really is an amazing piece, something we're calling our landmark installation. There's some other things going on at the museum this week as well. Some folks from Target volunteered their time and made a little busy board, which Miss Sally found right away. Thank you. So bad, I just talk, 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 talk. Okay, and the video is going. Yeah. Okay, you, 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 you
asking me questions. I froze. Oh. I froze. I froze. They, uh, what are you talking about? I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Oh, they stopped for me. <laughs> but that we definitely. Darren, that looks amazing. That does. It's brand new. Are you taking your shoes off and jumping in there? Definitely... Not yet. No. Commando, they call it. <laughs> no, commando is when you're not wearing underwear. <laughs> commando. I think it's commando. We resurfaced the floor that's going to be underneath the water plate table. We had to make sure that it was not only water safe, but non-slip as well. Darren is rollering down a two-part epoxy coating, and Nani is following behind him, broadcasting little textured colored chips and sand that's making it non-slip. Hey, Darren, tell YouTube what you've been working on. The water table. <laughs> it's going to be a big water table. It's awesome. It's got big open sides, lots of trusses. It has a very subtle fall. Really keeps everything in line. Good job, Darren. It looks great. Mahalo. Aloha. Shaka.